sekta ya afya ni sekta muhimu sana katika ukuaji wa taifa kwa ni kama ujuavyo afya bora maisha bora uchumi bora tumekamilisha mwaka 2023 na nimetupia jicho sekta ya afya ilivyokuwa mwaka uliopita 2023 Kuanzia mwanzoni wa mwaka 2023 sekta ya afya ilikumbwa na changamoto sihaba licha ya kwamba wakenya wangali wana ndoto kuwa sekta hiyo itaimarishwa ili kuwawezesha wakenya wote kupata huduma bora kwa gharama ya chini mwaka huu mpya Mwezi Mei sekta hii ilikumbwa na sakata ya mamlaka usambazaji dawa nchini Kemsa iliyohusu ununuzi wa neti zilizotibiwa na kuzuia mbu kupiga vita maambukizi ya malaria sakata hiyo ilikuwa shilingi bilioni 3.7 sakata hiyo ilisababisha kutimuliwa kazini kwa afisa mkuu mtendaji wa Kemsa Bitteri Ramadhani I wouldn't tell whether she was involved or not but you know as a principal secretaries they are the accounting officers of the ministry so it is expected that of course in their day to day then they are expected to interact with the with the institutions when it comes to such matters bi ramadhani akijitetea mapema juni mwaka 2023 aliibua madai kwamba waziri wa afya alijaribu kumshawishi kukubali neti za kuzuia mbu zilizotibiwa bila malipo kutoka kwa kampuni mmoja alisitiza kuwa alifuata taratibu zote zinazohitajika kwenye mchakato wa kutoa zabuni ya bilioni 3.7 ya neti za kuzuia mbu kwa shirika la kimataifa la Global Fund na hakuelewa kilichosababisha zabuni hiyo kukataliwa kulingana naye sababu zilizotolewa na Global Bolfan kama misingi ya kufutilia mbali zabuni hiyo ya mabilioni hazikuwa na mashiko ikizingatiwa kwamba si mara ya kwanza kufanya kazi na shirika hilo wengine walioathirika na kufutwa kazi ni pamoja na katibu wa wizara ya afya katika idara ya afya ya umma daktari Josephine Mburu na mwenyekiti wa wanachama wa bodi ya Kemsa Mboro kwa upande wake alisema sakata hiyo ilitokea chini ya usimamizi wa aliyekuwa katibu wa Wizara ya Afya wakati huo Peter Tum ambaye alihamishwa katika Wizara ya Masuala ya Vijana, Sporti na Sanaa. Vile vile Peter Tum alijitenga na sakata hiyo. Tum alisema shughuli za Kemsa hazikuwa chini ya usimamizi wake. Irungu Nyakera aliteuliwa kama mwenyekiti mpya wa bodi ya Kemsa. Mwezi wa sita mwaka 2023 NTV ilifanya taarifa ya upekuzi kuhusu ulagai uliokuwa ukitekelezwa na NHIF kwa ushirikiano na hospitali kadhaa dhidi ya wagonjwa. Kufuatia taarifa hiyo, NHIF ilisimamisha kwa muda kandarasi yake na hospitali sita zilizotajwa kwa muda wa siku tisini. Hospitali hizo zilikuwa Afya Bora Hospital, Afya Bora Hospital Annex, Jekim Hospital Nkumu Limited, Jekim Medical Center, Joy Nursing and Maternity Eastleigh na St Peter's Orthopedics and Surgical Specialty. Hospitali hizo ziliagizwa kuwagurisha wagonjwa katika hospitali mbadala. Hili lilijiri baada ya waziri wa afya Susan Nakumicha kuasimamisha kazi kwa muda maafisa wa NHIF wa kaunti zilizohusika. The facilities are directed to immediately transfer their inpatients and evacuate their process this will allow KMPDC to commence their inspections thereafter our teams will enforce the directive for closure should they inspect and find them culpable and they will remain closed until investigations are concluded Waziri pia aliamrisha uchunguzi wa mitindo ya maisha wafanyakazi wa NHIF ili kuzidisha uchunguzi katika bima hiyo This is to ensure that each member of staff can explain their wealth portfolio in consistency with their earnings Akiwa mbele ya kamati ya afya ya bunge waziri na humicha alijitetea kuhusu kusimamishwa kazi kwa muda maafisa hao wa NHIF Branch managers are the people who are tasked with the responsibility of supervising, monitoring and evaluating facilities within their purview and report any issues to headquarters. Similarly when claims are made, branch managers review claims before they get through to HQ. Wakati huo huo serikali ya Kenya kwanza ilidai kuwa inaipa kipaumbele sekta ya afya kwa kuhakikisha kuwa kila mkenya atapata huduma bora iliyo nafuu. Hata hivyo ili kufanikisha mpango wa afya kwa wote UHC. Mnamo Alhamisi Oktoba tarehe 19, Rais William Ruto alitia saini miswada minne kuwa sheria ili kuimarisha huduma ya afya kwa wote UHC. The social health 
uh, bill that you have now ascended into law, we are going to move forward, Your Excellency, because there are three funds that we have created in there. The primary health care fund to ensure that the primary level is publicly financed. The social health fund, Your Excellency, for many years, and many Kenyans have given us feedback that they were not able to know what is it that they are covered for. Despite paying 500 shillings, they did not know what their benefit is. We have worked with the team, Your Excellency. Now we are clear on what is the benefit as soon as you make your payment, what is it that you are entitled to. These laws, together with various policies, strategies, and regulations that will be subsequently implemented, including the community health policy and primary health care and health financing strategies will lay the firm foundation for the biggest change in our healthcare system ever witnessed. Sheria hizo mpya ni pamoja na bima ya afya jamii ambayo itagharimu wa Kenya waliojiriwa kwani watakatwa asilimia mbili nukta saba tano ya mshahara wao jumla kufadhili bima tatu tofauti ambazo zitachukua nafasi ya NHIF msoado wa afya kijijitali msoado wa huduma ya afya ya msingi na msoado wa ufadhili wa uboreshaji wa kituo hata hivyo kuidhinishwa kwa bima ya afya ya jamii ya mwaka 2023 kunaendelea kupingwa na baadhi wa shikadau kama vile muungano wa madaktari nchini KMPDU huku wakitaka wananchi kuhamasishwa zaidi kuhusu sheria hizo ni dhahiri kwamba bado sekta ya afya inahitaji kupigwa jeki zaidi ili kuimarisha huduma bora kwa wakenya lakini wakenya wangali wanatilia shaka mpango wa serikali wa afya kwa wote ikitiliwa maanani kwamba katika bajeti ya mwaka 2023 mwaka 2024 sekta ya afya ilitengewa shilingi bilioni 141 kutoka shilingi bilioni 146.8 mwaka 2022 mwaka 2023 ikiwa upungufu wa shilingi bilioni 5 sita jambo ambalo pia halikuwafurahishwa shikadau katika sekta hiyo kilichosalia sasa ni kutulia na kusubiri kuona iwapo sekta ya afya itaimarishwa mwaka huu wa 2020